Hey guys, what's up? It's Milma here again with another basic Xcode tutorial. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be doing uh, the first steps of coding. Um, so if you haven't already watched my other tutorials on my jargon and how I say stuff, just so you can follow along, the Xcode one is here and the Interface Builder one is here. Click on those two links, watch those videos so you know what I'm talking about. So, without further ado, let's get started. Go on Xcode, open it up, create a new project, and I'm going to call this one, I don't know, I know, change label. Uh, I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now, the reason I'm calling this change label is because in this basic Xcode tutorial, we're going to learn how to change a label with the click of a button. So, if we uh, make the screen bigger, go into our classes, and going to our header file and go in between these two brackets and for this we need one label and one button or one action so I'm going to type IB outlet UI label star label now you can call that label whatever you want this thing here can be called whatever you want just I called it label because it's easier for me to understand what I'm talking about so now if we go outside the brackets here and we go hyphen open main normal brackets IB action close normal brackets and we can call this I know change label because that's what our action is going to do it's going to change our label make sure you put a semicolon copy that and then go into the main file go at the top here paste it in delete the semicolon open curly brackets press enter twice, close curly brackets. Now inside here is going to be the code that changes our label. So we need to call our label. So that was, we called it label. So we're going to go label dot text. So that means the labels text space equals space at, at the at sign then uh, speech marks uh, then we can do whatever we can go I have changed like that close the quotes and put a semicolon on the end of that and that's all we need to do just that one simple line of code and uh, it's done now make sure you save both of these files before we go into IB because otherwise you you'll get stuck and you won't have any of the connections. So go into our resources folder and double click on change label view controller.nib. Now here's our view and uh, <coughs> we need a label and we can just put that in the center there. We can go and change its font size. Again, I have gone over all of this stuff in my other tutorial on IB. Um, so yeah, and now we need a button. <coughs> And we can just drag that in and we're going to call this press me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know random, but hey ho. And now we're going to go into our files owner, click on the second tab and drag label to label and change label to the button and select touch up inside. So that's done. Save that and then go back into Xcode. And now to make our project run on the uh, simulator which you should have got with the uh, with Xcode just click build and run at the top here and it's compiling you can see it down here compiling the uh, code and here's the simulator now here's our code now if I click press me the the uh, label as you can see changed to what we typed in here so yeah that's basically how you change the label with code now because this is fairly basic I'm going to in my next tutorial add an if statement which is extremely important in coding if statements are used loads so check out for my next tutorial annotation should appear over here somewhere um, so yeah thanks for watching guys if you like my videos please comment rate subscribe and leave me a comment if you have any suggestions on tutorials you would wish me to do.